Yo, what's up guys, Cash Design here and welcome back to another video. So today, I've got a tutorial and I'll be showing you how to swap a player's face and like add a completely different player onto the original player's like kit. Okay, so first of all, you create a new document. Uh, for this I'll be using 1200 by 1200, so a regular square. Okay. And then you find the two images that you want to use for the for the edit you're doing. Okay, so I'll add mine in. I'll be doing uh, a Bravo to Man City uh, rumor as because obviously if you, if you watch football, Pep Guardiola hasn't been playing Joe Hart recently, and he. Wants a different keeper. Okay, now add the second image. Here they are. They're both quite decent HD images. So, first, you would dupl duplicate both layers and hide the original ones in case you need to use them again. And now, you need to rasterize both of them. So, select both, right click, and rasterize layers. Okay, first of all, you can hide the background layer, the like the Joe Hart on, and use the either the pen tool or the polygonal lasso tool to uh, curl around his face. I'll use the polygonal lasso tool because I find it a bit faster. So now I've selected around the player, I would zoom out. Uh, and then click select and reverse and click delete so that the, the layer is only the player face and I'll bring back the previous uh, layer, the original one of the Joe Hart. So now you get Bravo and you would resize his face to make it look a little bit more realistic. You can make a big or small one. I think it says that already about the right size. And you place it on top of your heart's face. Okay, once you place it on, you would zoom in, hide the bravo there, and use the latter tool to select like around this barber here on the shirt. And let's just do this quickly. And then after you select around it, you go outwards like this around the player and click enter. And go back on this layer and click delete so it can delete like the parts that are not inside the pit. And after you do this, you'll see that like the player itself just doesn't look realistic how his kit comes back after that. The kit is all you must select the end to make it look a bit more realistic by the lean this part. And then it there you go. And now you would go back to the door harder, use the the clone tool and hold alt and just color in or oh, just yeah you use the brush to fill in these parts so that none of the Joe Hawk can actually show It doesn't have to be perfect, just so make sure that you can't see that actual drill heart. Just... 
And there you go. And I can zoom out again. And you'll see that you can't see any of Doha in the background. So now you zoom in again. And like, do what you did before, like select around this part. But this time, instead of going outwards, you've got inwards. Like I'll show you one second. So now I've selected around it, I'd go inwards, look okay. here. Click enter. And go back to, to the bravos or Well, well because I a bit of bravos out, you just hold shift and select around this part. Just so make it look a bit more realistic. And then you'd go back to the clone stamp tool and just stay using it until the his face just fits the whole neck. Just like this. Okay, so now when I finished it, you can control D to do select and zoom out. And as you can see now, he's got a full neck that covers the whole like, thing over here. And then it might not look too realistic, but when you zoom out, nobody would realize to be honest. So now, what would you do, what would you do is create a new layer because it may not be uh, too realistic, and you hold Alt and click between these two layers just to create a clipping mask and zoom in again. You get your brush tool. My brush is really big. And use just a normal soft brush. And make it small, obviously. And because it's clipped, you can only draw within the layer you're clipping it on. So now you just make the brush just a bit smaller. And just read the brush, just paint over these parts. Just to make it look a bit more realistic. There you go. When you zoom out, it looks a bit bare, but it's just not too realistic. So you'll just lower the opacity. It's just something that look good. And about thirty-three looks good. And then you can just merge these two layers by right-clicking to merge layers or clicking Control E. So here is the final. Uh, final edit. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe if you're new. Comment what tutorial I should do next, and I'll see you guys later.